امام الانبياء والمتقين وعلى اله وصحابته الغر الميامين وعلى كل من سار على منواله واقتفى اثاره باحسان الى يوم القرار والخلود والثبات والدين اما بعد brothers and sisters assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh <coughs> our tafsir session in these beautiful ramadanic hours and days are just rolling by the count is still on today we have entered the 17th day of the month of ramadan so we just have only barely two weeks ahead before ramadan uh, closes its gates we ask allah to bless all of us to open the gates of his ramadanic showers of blessing upon all of us so let's we'll go into the tafsir proper <coughs> raise your voice well forex trading is a system whereby the the, the 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 transaction the monetary transaction is online based but concerning bitcoins count it out because trading in bitcoins is a bit dubious a lot of countries who are developed are yet even to ratify it so count it out no compromise on that until a clear and distinctive clarity can be obtained but concerning forex trading if you order for something through a, from a company jumia tonga and what have you you give specifications of your need and they, they deliver the things needed and you pay them what is wrong there like you want to buy cellular phone iphone the latest version you apply for that they ask you to pay the money whatever medium you use in giving them their money you know the qualities of your commodity in question they know your address they know you are the recipient to be and on delivery things are going to be accepted so in the absence of yani abdarar any harm with the establishment of benefit i say yeah it, it is permissible to be done forex trading to this extent but i am repeating the issue of selling and buying bitcoins is yet to be made legal because of a lot of dubious characteristics attached with it hope that answers your question wallahu ta'ala a'lam bihi tawfiq wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Let me ask you also don't you think you too that is it only in christmas you give them goodness you ask me don't you think so i am asking you again do you think it is only during the festival during their religion you show goodness to them show me tell me brother christmas comes once in a year all of the remaining months don't you show goodness to them only this particular instance you are singling out no this is their religion allah says lakum dinukum waliyadin to you belongs your religion to me belongs mine so my brother is not only during xmas you are going to show goodness today what about january february march april may june july all this month they say anko so do not stick to only christmas as the only way you will show goodness unless if you are not ready to be good to somebody but this is somebody's religion his belief because by the time you are giving them something or taking 
either you believe in the claim that Jesus is God, you have to answer this before Allah. Or, because you want to be, oh, an apologetic Muslim, you love all, then one is lying. So I am saying, if we don't accept it that day, don't you have the mouth to speak to them politely, please, Mr. Jacob, I won't take it. Why? Because I have my religion. If I should give you mine during my salah, if your religion says no, don't take it. I will respect you. So Muslims want just to be apologetic. That's what he's doing. Show goodness to him during other times. But his religion, like I have said, to you belongs to religion and to mine belongs mine. This we are, we are speaking to the understanding mind. May Allah make us know the truth and abide by the truth. Next question. <clears throat> Well, that is in the hand of Allah. He is asking if the Sheikh will continue. Well, in our masjid, we've been conducting tafsir for the past 20 years, though in Hausa. Because we're predominantly Hausa speaking people, we live in Kano. In fact, the English tafsir is a child of necessity, not because I even want it myself, but because it's a necessity. Since Allah has given you the ability, don't deny it. Others don't have it. We thank Allah for that. Allah didn't give you to hide it. Say it. And ask Allah to accept it. Alhamdulillah. So there are chances of continuity by the grace of Allah. Uh, so take it easy. That will be looked into critically. Uh, because Islam is not, is not only for the houses. Islam is not for the Arabs. Islam is not for the Fulanis. The Kanuris, the Nupes, the whatever, the Igalas, the Igbos. Islam is a universal message. If that is the case, my language, Hausa, is not universal. It's universal relatively. But not as English. Not as French. So go and learn any language you will be able to send the message across. Don't localize your way of preaching. Make it global. Globalize it. So in the light of this, we're going, inshallah ta'ala, to continue maybe after Ramadan by Allah's uh, power and will. Next question. That is good of you. Because Allah says, وَلَا تَقْفُ مَا لَيْسَ لَكَ بِهِ إِلْمٍ Do not follow things on which you have no knowledge. So telling him you don't know answer, that's good of you. I myself will only try, and a طالب ilm that if somebody has a wet dream, what is a wet dream? Somebody slept off, and he saw in his vision, he is meeting a woman, to the point of releasing Many. That is a wet dream. Your fasting does not break. Your fasting is not vitiated. It's not polluted. Because the wet dream, the wetness there doesn't render your fasting nullified. All you need is to wake up, go and take birth, and then make a carry go. Your fasting is okay, intact. Wallahu a'lam. Speak louder. Somebody is asking, is eating holes haram? It's not haram. But it's not practicable easily. Because during the Sahaba, they ate holes. So I don't have a single backup to tell you eating the flesh of a horse is haram. It's not. But being halal is different. Being practicable is entirely different. Something can be halal, legitimate, but practicability can be pretty difficult. I, for one, cannot eat the meat of the horse. I cannot. Because in my own culture, in my society, we don't eat it. But if somebody eats it, I can't say haram. The house someone says, Akam bal halal kodam kunya. 
An example, if your friends that you grew up together, your friend divorced his wife, can you marry her? You are friends. You were born together. You played together. You went to school together. You grew up together. Now, his wife, he divorced her. Can you marry her? If you ask him about legality, it's legal. It's halal. Is it haram? Mm. But is it possible? It's a good example. Something can be legal, but can be impracticable. If you marry her, you have to leave the area. Yeah. Otherwise, there will be rancorous rancor. If he sees you, he looks at you as an iblis. So I am just giving an example. So eating the flesh of the horse is not haram, but have you consumed all the meat you have in Kano? Before going to the horse? So the answer is it's not haram, but you have to be careful. Any other question? Thank you very much. Somebody, before going to the tafsir, says, Malam, is money alpha and omega? Money. Is money, 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 not morning, opposite of afternoon. Money, not morning. Money, M-O-N-E-Y, money. Is money alpha and omega? Yani money is everything. I say no. At least money cannot buy five things. At least. Money cannot buy lifespan. Please take this money to the shop. Buy for me. I want to live for 1,000 years. Go and buy from shop. So money cannot buy lifespan. Can it? Money cannot buy health. Can it? If money can buy health, a lot of millionaires wouldn't have died. Yesterday, as an example, I was going through my internet uh, pages. I saw somebody sent a posting concerning our brother, Chief of, Air, Chief of Staff of the President, Alaji Abbakari, may Allah have mercy on him. The man said, oh, this is life. I went to Gudu Cemetery in Abuja, where our brother Abbakari was buried. He said, I went there, nobody there. No protocols. Nobody telling her, do you have an appointment? He said, this was a man, when he was alive, before you see the head of state, ah, it used to be a Herculean task. Appointment should be gotten first. Protocol should be observed. If you have him signing your meeting with the president, hmm, congratulations for you. But now he's there lying down. So the brother who is talking about is an ayah for all of us. May Allah have mercy on him and all on our dead one. So I am saying money cannot buy you health. Because if money can buy health, a lot of people, because of their money, their material accumulation, wouldn't have died. That is number two. Money cannot buy you love. Is that correct? Yeah. Money cannot buy love. L-O-V-E. You cannot go and say, the lady I want to marry, I am buying her love. It's a lie. She can be forced. Hey, Marry him. He's a good man. He has given, that's all. But the mind belongs to the lady. So money cannot buy health, cannot buy lifespan, cannot buy love. That is why do not give the woman you want to marry because of materialism. She takes away the money, she goes away and leave you. <clears throat> Look for the love, the true and affectionate love. Number three. Number four, money cannot buy what again? Al itmi inan, comfort. Money cannot buy you tranquility of the mind. 
If money can make you tranquilize in the mind, then why do you worry? Why do you have a lot of millionaires with high blood pressure, sugar, and what have you? Take it easy. Allah says, "Alladina amanu wa tatma innu qulubuhum bi dhikrillah." Allah, not bil mali. Allah didn't say Allah bi naira. Allah bi dollar? No. Allah bi dhikrillah tatma innu qulub. Read the story of Mrs. Christina Onassis. She was multi-trillionaire, not even millionaire. But she died in an hotel in Buenos Aires. In 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 in, in Buenos Aires, which country is that? Buenos Aires, Argentina. She took she took overdose. She said, "Upon the money I have, I am losing comfort in my mind." She took it. She left a note. This morning, I was going through my phone. This morning, I saw the story of a man in Russia. Dmitry Kosov, one of the wealthy people in Russia. This morning, he killed himself. Millionaire. He was living in an area, posh area, luxury area of who is who. But he committed suicide. And they are saying, unfortunately, he left no any note as to why. They only found the gun he shot himself by his rights. Look at it. But you as a woman, as a believer, what will worry you? You know, everything lies in the hand of Allah. So I'm only trying to answer this question, not ask that money cannot buy everything. Money is just temporary. By the time you drop dead, your money is taken away by the, your heirs. Your money belongs to three things. Three, yeah, three things. First, there is one part of your money consumed by destiny. Oh, his car is stolen. Destiny. His cellular phone got lost. Destiny. So this part of your money is assigned to destiny, which is unknown to you. That is number one. Number two, money belongs to your heir. By the time you drop dead, your kid and children come and say, hey, where is our share of our father's what? Properties. Number three, money belongs to you. What belongs to you is what you have eaten. What you have clothed yourself and go to one out. And the car you enter and the place you build. This is where it belongs. What you have stashed, kept in foreign banks is not yours. So I am calling on those people stealing public property, taking it to foreign account. They die there, cheating and harming the citizenries. Some even in Sokaway hiding money. This is sheer madness, man. May Allah guide us aright. Let's take the first qira and recitation. <clears throat> وكذلك أعثرنا عليهم ليعلموا أن وعد الله حق وأن الساعة لا ريب فيها وأن الساعة لا ريب فيها إذ يتنازعون بينهم أمرهم فقالوا بنوا عليهم بنيانا سيقولون سيقولون ثلاثة رابعهم كلبهم ويقولون خمسة سادسهم كلبهم رجما بالغيب ويقولون سبعة وثامنهم كلبهم قل ربي أعلم بعدتهم ما يعلمون Yeah. 
Before going to translate these uh, verses recited by our Qari, let me go back to ayah number 17 and make some corrections. Uh, because it is a manner of knowledge. If you have gone mistakenly, Allah, that is when the sun arose. Okay? You see it tilting away from the cave towards the right. That we did it, we explained it. وَإِذَا غَرَبَتْ When the sun was down, about to say, تَقَرِضُهُمْ It removes itself that shimal through the left. Then I forgot and say also the right. Because Yamin shimal, shimal means left. That is observation I have made for myself, number one. Number two, whom fi fajwa to min. Fajwa, I said in the open space, that is correct. No problem there. But concerning ayah number 18, where I translated, وَكَلْبُهُمْ بَاسِطٌ ذِرَاعِهِ بِالْوَسِيدِ Their dog was spreading its front leg, بِالْوَسِيدِ, I say in the veranda. It is okay, but I will prefer threshold or the entrance. The same thing, but I will prefer the threshold or what or the gateway. The same thing. وَاللَّهُ تَعَالَىٰ أَعْلَمُ بِهِ التَّوْفِيقِ Now, وَكَذَلِكَ أَعْثَرْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ Thus, T-H-U-S, thus, أَعْثَرْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ We made people come to know about them. Because that is أَعْثَرَ إِذَا قُلْتَ أَعْثَرْتُ عَلَىٰ قَلَمٍ ضَاعَةٍ I came across. But أَعْثَرْتُهُ عَلَىٰ قَلَمٍ I'm across. Okay? Because it becomes fi'il mazid. So in this way, we cause people to know of these people. Because when the man went with the be warik, I mean, the, the, the scholars are saying he went to buy food. When he gave the warik, they took the money. So what? Why are you giving me this coin, this kind of this kind of money was used for over 300 years back. During a king, Dekayanus. What? You are bringing it now? Who are you? Then the man took the amount of food. Secretly, he disappeared. He went back. I said, look guys, we have been uncovered. The money I gave sent suspicion in people's mind. Then they say, well, we have been told for donkey years that some young men left the king so so date. We suspect they are those guys. So, وَكَذَلِكَ أَعْثَرْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ In this way, we made them to be known. Allah had a plan. He said, لِيَعْلَمُوا أَنَّ وَعَدَ اللَّهِ حَقٌ For them to know that Allah's wa'ad, Allah's promise, حَقٌ is true. وَأَنَّ السَّاعَةَ لَا رَيْبَ فِيهَا And the hour. You see, Al-Qiyama is called as saa Yeah. Sa'a comes in the Quran. It means just a part of time. وَيَوْمَ تَقُومُ السَّاعَةُ قُسِمُ الْمُجْرِمُونَ مَا لَبِثُ غَيْرَ سَاعَةَ كَذَلِكَ كَانُوا يُوفَ in two places. Allah said, وَيَوْمَ تَقُومُ When the hour. as here means Al-Qiyamah. When it is established, the criminals will assume they only tarried on the face of the earth for just an hour. So you can see, Sa'a, the first one means Al-Qiyamah. The second means what? Some part of the world. Similarly, Allah says, اِقْتَرَبَتِ السَّاعَةُ وَانْشَقَّ الْقَمَرِ the hour of Qiyamah approaches because the moon was kept asunder. So Sa'a comes and it means the day of resurrection. Inna Sa'ata Atiyatul Lariba Fiha. This is one out of many names of Al Qiyamah. It is called Al Qiyamah. 
the day of standing. It is called the day of attagabun, reproach, biting finger, regretting day. It has a lot of name to be known. So here Allah the Almighty says, for them to know asa'a la reybafiyah, no doubt, concerning al qiyamah Nobody denies the reality of al qiyamah except the kafir. We know from the bottom of our heart that really qiyamah is going to come. إِذْيَ تَنَازَعُونَ بَيْنَهُمْ أَمْرَهُمْ When they were disputing amongst them concerning their issue. Okay, now you have seen these boys because when the man went back with the food, they say, ask Allah to take your life because you are no longer living in your time. Allahu Akbar. They lie down, they were taken away. When people came from the city, they saw them. They said, this must be awliya. They were saintly and piously saint and saintly pious. So they began to argue. They are ours. No, they are ours. But they are dead. That is, they were arguing, they were squabbling amongst them because of the issue. فَقَالُوا بُنُوا عَلَيْهِمْ بُنْيَانَ They say, okay, build a mansion, a structure upon them. Build something as a monument. Build a monumental structure to remind you of their existence. Just like uh, a history house. Okay? رَبُّهُمْ أَلَمُ بِهِمْ But they are Lord. Knows based concerning them. Qala alladhina ghalabu ala amrihim Those who have their own issue prevailing. Because as the argument raged on, some had the upper hand. That is ghalabu ala amrihim. They prevailed in their argument. They said no. لَنَتَّخِذَنَّ عَلَيْهِمْ مَسْجِدًا Certainly we are going to build a masjid. Sepulka, sepulka. Some they call it mosque. We go in to have sepulchre or masjid in this place. Now you can see there own was a grave. In our Sharia, this system is abrogated. It is illegal to raise a structure in the name of a masjid on a grave. According to the fatwa of our scholastic scholars, if you have a masjid with a grave. You have to look at which first came. If the masjid preceded the coming of the grave, the grave should be engraved. Remove the remains. Rebury them. But if the, 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 the grave was there before, the masjid will be destroyed. To maintain the pristine nature of monetizing the aqidah. But today, Allahu al-Musta'an wa alayhi tukulan. Next ayah. Sayakuluna thalathatun rabi'uhum kalbuhum wa yakuluna khamsatun sadisuhum kalbuhum rajman bilghayb. وَيَقُولُونَ سَبَعَةٌ وَثَامِنُهُمْ كَلْبُهُمْ قُلْ رَبِّي أَعْلَمُ بِعِدَّتِهِمْ مَا يَعْلَمُهُمْ إِلَّا قَلِيلٌ فَلَا تُمَارِ فِيهِمْ إِلَّا مِرَاءً ظَاهِرًا وَلَا تَسْتَفْتِ فِيهِمْ مِنْهُمْ أَحَدًا سَيَقُولُونَ ثَلَاثَةٌ رَابِئُهُمْ كَلْبُهُمْ وَيَقُولُونَ خَمْسَةٌ سَادِسُهُمْ كَلْبُهُمْ رَجْمًا بِالْغَيْبِ That is ayah number 22 in this surah number 18. Then Allah said, سَيَقُولُونَ ثَلَاثَةٌ رَابِئُهُمْ كَلْبُهُمْ People will be saying, well, they were only three. Their dog was the fourth. وَيَقُلُونَ خَمْسَةٌ Some will be saying they were only five. سَادِسُهُمْ كَلْبُهُمْ 
their dog was their sixth. Rajman bil ghayb. Conjecturing in the darkness. Arguing on the unseen without any basic knowledge. Conjecture. Okay? Then Allah says, Wa yaquluna sab'atun. Some will be saying they were seven. Wa thaminuhum kabuhum. Their eight is their what? Conjecture. But when Allah mentioned the subsequent figure, Sab'atun, Allah didn't say no, they were lying. He only says, Tell them, my Lord knows based how many they were. That is Idda. Araftun? Nobody knows them but a few. فَلَا تُمَارِ فِيهِمْ إِلَّا مِرَاءً ظَاهِرًا Ya Rasulullah, do not argue concerning them إِلَّا مِرَاءً ظَاهِرًا but a distinct and clear argument. Obvious reason you have it, say it. وَلَا تَسْتَفْتِ فِيهِمْ مِنْ أَحَدًا Do not inquire concerning them, anybody. Allah's revelation is enough for you. Next ayah. Another beautiful teaching. Wala taqulanna li shayin inni fa'ilun illa an yasha Allah. Do not say, do not say on anything that I am going to do that tomorrow. Allahu Akbar. Don't say tomorrow I will go to Kaduna. Tomorrow I will go to my farmland. Tomorrow I will execute A, B, C, D, X, Y, Z. Don't say that. Okay? Illa an yasha Allah until and accept by saying if Allah wills. If Allah wills, if Allah is that I'm going to do A, B, C, D. This teaches us an institution of total subjugation and subservience to Allah the Almighty. Don't say I will scratch my head. <laughs> say inshallah. Because to remove your hand to your head until if Allah sanctions that. So don't take chance. That is why it is ignorant to hear over our radios tomorrow we are going to broadcast the program tomorrow by this time. Do you on tomorrow? Our journalists with religious coloring, you will hear them saying, Inshallah, you have to Islamize everything you do. Don't say, no, this is mundane and this is worldly. Mundane and this is godly. In Islam, we don't have the idea, render unto Caesar what is Caesar's and unto God what is God, no. وَلَا تَقُولَنَّ لِشَيْءٍ إِنِّي فَائِلٌ ذَلِكَ غَدًا إِلَّا أَنْ يَشَاءَ اللَّهُ Some people are making the mistake. They say, إِنْشَاءَ مَكَ أَلَّهُ That's wrong. It is ignorant to say, إِنْشَاءَ مَكَ أَلَّهُ Where did you get this from? Or, إِنْشَاءَ مَكَ أَلَّهُ Who tells you this? Some will be saying, إِنْشَاءَ الرَّحْمَانُ Yeah, we know. الرَّحْمَانُ But, according to the system, Allah says, إِلَّا أَنْ يَشَاءَ اللَّهُ Maintain the teaching. Al khayru kullu al khayri fitti ba'i man salaf wa sharru kullu al sharri fitti da'i man khalaf. Goodness upon goodness lies with the ways of the pious predecessors. Ugliness lies with the concoction of the concussion of the later days people. So maintain the teaching. Say, illa an insha'Allah. Oh, I will go insha'Allah. Call to memory your Lord's name whenever you forget. 
They are saying, if you fail to say, inshallah, maybe after an hour, can I say it? You can say it. It's just like istirja. Allah says, when somebody is touched by an affliction, catastrophe, he should say, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raja'un. If he has forgotten, let him say tomorrow, next tomorrow. The intention marks you and bears you out. Araftum? Therefore, Allah says, وَذْكُرْ رَبَّكَ إِذَا نَسِيتْ وَقُلْ عَيَّنِ رَبِّي لِأَقْرَبَ مِنْ هَذَا رَشَدًا Say, my Lord is about to guide me to what is, what is nearer to this in terms of rectitude. That's all. Next ayah. <clears throat> قل الله قل الله اعلم بما لبثوا له غيب السماوات والارض ابصر به واسمع ما لهم من دونه من ولي ولا يشرك في حكمه احدا Now Allah tells us how long did they remain or stayed in the cave Again, name of cave surfaces. Okay? Walabithu fi kafihim. Allah said they remained. They stayed in their kaf, their cave. Thalathamiatin sinin. 300 years. Wasdadu tis'a. Exceeding by extra nine. That is, they lived there. For 309 years. Imagine. But Allah made it to look as if it was from morning to asr. La ilaha illallah. Wallahu ghalibun ala amri. Walakin akthara nasi. La ilam. From their own material calculation. La bithna yawman. Aw ba'da yawm. No. They lived there. They tarried there. For 300 years. And more nine years. Qul illahu a'lamu. Did you read it? Qul illahu a'lamu bima labithu. Say, Allah knows based how long they stayed or they lived, if you like it, in the cave. Lahu ghaybu samawati wal ard. To Allah exclusively belongs the knowledge of the unseen, al ghayb, in the heaven. And on the face of the earth. You see, al ghayb is of two kinds. There is al ghaybu and nisbi and al ghaybu mutlaq. Al ghaybu nisbi, we call it the relative ghayb. Relative ghayb. How? What is in your pocket, I don't know. To me, it's ghayb. In relation to me, I don't know. That is relative ghayb. الغيب النسبي بالنسبة إلي ما في جيبك عندي غيب وما في جيبي عندك أيضا غيب. We call this relative غيب. Okay. There is the preponderant غيب. الغيب المطلق. Both relative غيب and the preponderant they all belong to who? To Allah. قل لا يعلم من في السماوات والأرض الغيبة إلا إلا الله. So to Allah belongs the غيب, the unseen, in the heaven on the face of on the face of the earth. أبصر به وأسمي. Oh, how seen and how hearing Allah is. This is فيل التعجب. أبصر ما أبصره. أسمع به ما أسمعه. They call this fi'il at ta'ajjub. Oh, how wonderful is Allah's seeing. How wonderful is Allah's hearing. Okay? So he sees you, he hears you. Ma lahum min dunihi min wali. Beside Allah, they have no any wali. Who is a wali? Any protector. Any overseer. Allah says, Allahu waliyu alladhina amanu. Hmm? ذلك بأن الله مولى الذين آمنوا وأن الكافرين لا مولى له. So Allah waliyuna. He is our protector, our provider. 
disposal of everything. So for people, they don't have any wali. Min dunihi, beside Allah. La yushriku fi hukmihi ahada. Allah does not associate anybody in his legislation, in his legislative authority. Allah doesn't have any gonatun kwariya, hadukun kwariya. That is a coalition. No. He is Alpha, he is Omega. Wal Akhiru, Wal Zahiru, Wal Batinu, Ohobi Kulishin Ali. Allah is Al Al Awalu, the first. Wal Akhir, the last. Wal Zahir, the manifest, clearly. Wal Batin, the hidden. La ilaha illallah. He is Zahir through his ayat. He is Batin because La tudrikuhu labsar. Jalla jalaluhu. Such is that is our maker. That is our benefactor. That is our wali protector. Our trust is in him. In any given situation. Whether in diseases like COVID-19 or in poverty or pestling Allah Mawlana, we remain rooted to believe in Allah. We remain unshaken and unshakable by the grace of Allah. Allah, we ask you to strengthen and uphold our iman till the final time we go back to you in peace, not in pieces. Next, ayah. Allah says in this ayah number 27 Read that which was revealed to you from your Lord From the book of your Lord لا مبدل لكلماته No changer concerning his decision. Who can change it? ولن تجد من دونه ملتحدا People don't have any savior من دونه besides Allah. You don't have any multahada. Any place of abode. Where can you go? Next ayah. وَصْبِرْ نَفْسَكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ رَبَّهُمْ well, Ashi and the evening, you read Wajaha, questing for his countenance. Because Wajaha means countenance here. That is, we are looking after Allah's countenance. And do not allow your eyes to go beyond them. To read Zinatal Hayatid Dunya. Hayatid Dunya, looking after the adornment of this life of the world. Do not follow such a one that we have made his own mind hurt heedless. Ghafla. And Dikirina, he doesn't even remind us. I mean, remember us. And he follows his whims and caprices. His issue ended just for uh, just transgression. Okay? Becoming behind the way. He doesn't just measure up to what Allah wants. That is al-furu. Next ayah. Tell them that the truth, Al-Haq. You see, Al-Haq, what is Al-Haq? Al-Haq 
is the opposite of al-batil. وقل جاء الحق وزهق الباطل. So al-haq is the precise opposite of al-batil. Batil is the falsehood. Al-haq is the truth. Allah calls himself al-haq. Any ayah? ولو اتبع الحق أهواءهم. If الحق الله الحق الله يمصل. القيامة is also الحق الحقة ما الحقة. Okay. So tell them the truth is from your Lord. فَمَنْ شَاءَ فَلْيُؤْمِنْ Let him who desires follow it. وَمَنْ شَاءَ فَلْيَكْفُرْ And whoever that wishes, let him reject the iman. It's up to you. But you should know. إِنَّا أَعْتَدْنَا لِلظَّالِمِينَ نَارًا We are prepared for the wrongdoers. نَارًا A fire. You see, you see, he didn't say أَعْتَدْنَا لِلظَّالِمِينَ نَارًا No, نَارًا بِالنَّكِرَة النكرة هنا في سياق الإيجاب تفيد التهويل بالها. النار is mentioned with indefinite article to signify what hugeness of ugliness here. أعوذ بالله. We are prepared a hellfire for the الظالمون. Then he explains the fire. أحاط بهم سرادق. سرادق means the wall. The wall of the fire circumscribes them, rounded them. No escape. وَإِنْ يَسْتَغِيثُ If they should look for water, يَسْتَغِيثُ Oh, نُرِيدُ الشُرُبًا نُرِيدُ أَنَّ الشَّرَبْ لِيَقِبَ عَلَيْنَا يَا مَالِكُ وَإِنْ يَسْتَغِيثُ If they should quest and inquire for something to drink, that is يَسْتَغِيثُ يُغَاثُ بِمَا Okay, they will give them water. But, like a molten magma. La ilaha illallah. The water is not the normal water. Look. La yadhukuna fiha bardan wa la sharaba. The water is kalmuhul. Molten magma. La ilaha illallah. Yashwil wujuh. Scalding. Calding their faces. Twisting. Burning to ashes. The countenance. Bisa sharab. Evil is this as their dream. Wasa'at murtafaqa, so ugly is their place of meeting. Rabbana innaka man tudikhil nara faqad akhzayta. Wa ma li dhalimina min ansair. Allah says, O Allah, whomever you have admitted into hellfire, faqad akhzayta. You have humiliated him. In every sense of the word. لِذَلِكَ نَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ النَّارِ وَمَا قَرَّبَ إِلَيْهَا مِنْ قَوْلٍ وَعَمَلٍ وَنَسْأَلُ اللَّهَ تَعَالَى الْجَنَّةَ بِرَحْمَتِهِ وَكَرَمِهِ وَمَنِّهِ وَمَا قَرَّبَ إِلَى الْجَنَّةِ مِنْ قَوْلٍ وَعَمَلٍ نسأل الله رب العالمين أن يرزقنا فهم كتابه وأن يلهمنا العمل به إنه ولو ذلك والقادر عليه. We call it a day for today. Hoping to meet inshallah ta'ala tomorrow during the 18th day by the grace of Allah. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik. Nashur Allah ilaha illa anta nastaghratu bilaik. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.